We're starting tonight at the Futures game. Matt Walner hit a home run, 116 miles per hour. That's harder than any ball a Minnesota Twin has hit this year. It came off a lefty. A big, big moment for him. Also want to call out Jim Cott had his number retired. Of course, he's going to the Hall of Fame. Congratulations to him. And the Minnesota Twins won 6-3 to three, thanks to Yohan Duran slamming the door with a two-inning save. It's been so difficult for this Twins bullpen to uh, kind of close out losses and put away opponents, but got it done today. Uh, they uh, built a nice lead thanks to some pop. Luis Arise with a very impressive upper deck shot here. Carlos Correa would add one for himself. You'll see in a moment. Uh, but this felt like a really big game for the Twins. Uh, having lost the first two games of the series, really didn't want to go into tomorrow facing a potential four-game sweep at the hands of the White Sox to head into the All-Star break. Uh, so they jumped all over Lance Lynn. You see all three. Polanco's adding one. All three of those home runs coming off of Lynn. Uh, so again, a big win for the Twins today. It was a good day across the board for the most part. You see Dylan Bundy you know, did pitch well enough. Certainly I'll pitch Lance Lynn. That was good. We'll talk about Mario Sanchez some more in a second. Uh, Legomina was coming back from the IL, so knocking off some rust. Hendrick pitched well, and then Ole pitched well uh, additionally. Here is Mario Sanchez of the Saints, a guy the Twins signed as a minor league free agent from the Nationals organization. He's 27. And I want to highlight him uh, because he's pitching really well, and I think he might be a guy the Twins turn to at some point. Uh, as, a, as a potential bullpen solution. Who knows? Um, you saw a nice tight slider there. There's 95. We'll see a couple more 95s coming for him. Not a strikeout guy, uh, but you see he's got some stuff. There was 95 again. And 94 up in the zone. So he's definitely got some velo. And I, I like this sequence here. He's up 0-2. Uh, throws a breaking ball, slower breaking ball that's mostly in the zone and drops out of the zone. We'll see another 95 here. He misses his spot, but I just kind of want to show that's not him topping out. He's basically sitting 94-95. Um, and then he messes with timing here, which is a fun thing about watching this guy pitch. Look at that. It's a lot different than his other windups. Uh, just m mixing things up and then just completely swords this guy. Just an ugly, horrible swing. Definitely was not looking for the fastball in there. Uh, so Sanchez, 3.24 ERA coming into today, 0 0.87 whip. Uh, top 10 in ERA, top 5 in whip among international league pitchers with at least 50 innings. Uh, looking at the hitters here, we're going to take a look. Miguel Sano hit two home runs for the Saints. Chris Williams stayed hot. Uh, those were the two headliners. You know, Go back and uh, pause the video if those went too fast. But here's Miguel's two home runs. That's, well, the first one, just an absolute bomb way out of CHS Field in St. Paul. They were wearing some kind of weird Thor jerseys you might have noticed with. I think that's what that is with Sanchez. There's a swing. And again, he came up later and hit another one out. Uh, this one to the power alley into left center field. So Sano with two home runs. He's looking like he's pretty much ready to come back. It'll be interesting to see if he's extra motivated uh, since he might have fewer opportunities than usual. Chris Williams, my goodness. Home run on Wednesday, two home runs on Thursday, two more home runs on Friday, and you see today he hit another home run. Six home runs in his last four games. This guy is just out of his mind right now. My goodness. Uh, as you see here, the Twins surge and Colonels all won. Muscles lost. The Saints went into extra innings as I was recording to this. Uh, hopefully they pull that one out, but thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. I released an updated pre-draft prospect list. So go check that out. That was from earlier today.